Hallelujah. Glory be to our God, the Most High God. This is the day that the Lord has made. Beloved, let us rejoice. Shall we pray to the Almighty God, the Omnipotent God, the Everlasting God, the Covenanted God? It is through his power that we are still alive. Oh, this morning, I magnify the name, the name of Jehovah Jireh, the name of Jehovah Yahweh. To him alone be the glory, ancient of days, the captain of our salvation. Take all your glory, Spirit of God. Come and take control. This is a vessel you can use. Speak through me, Holy Spirit, and take control. And when all things are done, I will give you all the glory. Unto thee, O Lord, as your word is settled. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, I welcome the viewers of Prophet Ebenezer Kenew that listen to the end time prophets. May God bless you for turning into the Zoom to view or to watch our end time prophet. God has ordained this end time prophet. So beloved listen, listeners, be in two all the time as God is using him. May you be blessed this morning in Jesus name, amen. Beloved, I welcome each and every one. As our topic today is about righteousness. Right, righteousness with God. And we are going to look into the scripture, which is Ezekiel 14. And it starts with verse 14. And I read. Even if these three men, about Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they will find deliverance only themselves by their righteousness, say the Lord God. Beloved, we all know the story about Noah. He was just before Almighty God, and Noah walked with God. And we know the story about his ark, with God ordained him to prepare, and Noah obeyed God and did the ark. And Noah and his family, they went into the ark, and God, caused a rain on this earth for 40 days and 40 nights. We all know the story. Then the next person, which is Daniel. Beloved, we know the story of Daniel. Daniel, who was a man, he had mercy from God. Daniel was a man of prayer. Daniel never bowed to any other God when he was in the fallen land of Nebuchadnezzar. Daniel, who was in the lion den, God protected him. So Daniel walked with God. He was righteous before God. And the next person is Job. We all know the story of Job, that none, God testified about Job to Satan. He said, there is no one who is like Job. In Job 2-3, the story is there. So beloved, these three men mentioned in Ezekiel 14, 14, we have seen 
that they were righteous before God. Beloved, when you are righteous before God, our God Almighty, our God Jehovah, he can testify about you. We serve a mighty God. He is faithful. He is so sincere. So this morning, are we righteous before God? Can God testify about us like these three men? Which was Noah, Daniel, and Job. Are we righteous before God? For they fulfill what God wants. In Matthew 5, 6, this is by our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, the righteous will live by, by faith. So these three men, shall we turn our Bible to Matthew 5 and the verse is 6. Beloved, let's hear the word of God. Blessed are those who hunger and test for righteousness. So my question this day is asking, are we hunger for righteousness? Are we thirsty for righteousness? This is our Lord Jesus Christ is asking us about this. Are we righteous? As the three men, they were righteous. For our God. God said in Ezekiel 13, we go back to Ezekiel 13. Beloved, Let's listen, Ezekiel 14, and the verse is 13. Beloved, let's see what God wanted to do in the land without hiding from his servant. And the 13 says, Ezekiel 14, 13, and I read, Son of man, when the land sinned against me by my presence on faithfulness, I will stretch out my hand against it. I will cut off the supplier of the bread, send famine on it, and cut off man and the beast from it. It is our God. It is our almighty God. When he sent a famine, no one can survive. He is the provider. He is the planter. He is in charge of you and I. So he was telling Ezekiel that when the land sent, I, the Lord, when I send a famine, who can stand it? Even the animal, human being, no one can survive. But these three men, like I mentioned, Noah, Daniel, and Job, if they were in the land and famine comes, because they were righteous, God will save them. God said because of their righteousness. So beloved, are we righteous before our God? He alone can deliver us through the Holy Spirit. As the Bible says in Romans, and beloved, Romans 4, and the verse is 3. Let's hear something in the Romans 3, 4. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Abraham, he obeyed God because God called him, come out from your family and Abraham obeyed. You and I, do we obey God? And Abraham obeyed to go to where he wasn't away. 
but God Almighty, the one who knows you and I, the one who is in control. Abraham obeyed and followed God. And we all know the story of Abraham, a friend of God. So are we prepared to follow our God and obey him? It is the Holy Spirit who can help you and I to be righteous before God. We have to yield to the Holy Spirit. He should be in control of our daily activity. That's why the Bible says in Matthew 6 and the verse is 33, he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all things shall be added. Beloved, we have to seek God. He is our resource. He is our provider. He is in control. So we should obey our God as these three men. They honor God and they work with God and they were righteous. God knows you and I. In our Lord Jesus Christ, he knows everything. We can walk with God if we obey him and be righteous. Without righteousness, we cannot serve God. Beloved, let us, let us so that the Holy Spirit will help us to be righteous. He is our teacher. He is our helper. He is a friend. He alone can help us to be righteous. In our hearts of the truth, he can help us with the blessed breastplate that is righteous. God is righteous in all things. As the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ is peace and the shield of faith. We will not quench, the, we will quench all the fairy darts of the wicked one, which is the devil. So beloved, may the Holy Spirit help us to be righteous before our God, our creator. When we trump, when the trumpet sound, we will not be lost. So this afternoon, this is a question for you and I. Are we going to obey our God and the spirit of God so that he can help us to be righteous and walk like these three men that Noah, Daniel, and Job were righteous and they walk with God. May God Almighty have mercy upon us. May God deliver us from every affliction so that we can walk with God and God can testify over our lives that these people are righteous like he did for Noah, for Daniel and Job. May God Almighty, may the Spirit of God help us to transform our lives so that we can walk with him. As I'm bringing the message to the end, this is a question for all of us as the children of the Most High God. We have to yield to the Holy Spirit so that he can help us to be righteous. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, may the prophets be blessed. May the family of prophets, the wife, and their children be blessed as God has called him. And also the viewers and the listeners, may you be blessed, may you be touched. And may God bless you every time that you come to listen to the end time prophet. May God Almighty be with you. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving, amen.
and amen. Amen.